George, I don't know where to start, really. It, it, it was breathtaking stuff. I, I guess we have to start with that, that, that over that Stephen Finn bowled for you. What was going through your mind? Um, I just tried to have some fun. I just remember coming out uh, with Tomo and we were in a bit of a sticky situation. Um, and we'd lost probably a few more wickets than we'd like and made it a bit difficult for ourselves. And I thought, well, we need one really good over. Um, and I just thought, well, there's almost that much on it. The pressure was off and I just had a free swing and luckily it came off. You say luckily, the first one was a hook for six, but thereafter, did that give you the opportunity to go down the ground? Did that make a difference? Yeah, I think it was a bigger, bigger boundary that way, but the wind was helping a lot. So I actually felt really comfortable trying to strike that way. Um, and I knew from when we would bowl, were bowling that they'd try and go into the pitch to me. And so I just thought I'd stand still and try and swing. And luckily, they, all, they hit me in the middle of the bat. Well, they did. I just wonder what was the feeling on the balcony when you went out to bat? Because Sussex have been almost cruising in the game, really, at 17 without loss. What was the, how did the feeling on the balcony change during that period? Um, I think we were all a bit kind of, no, I wouldn't say down, but there was definitely a bit of a bit of annoyance because we got in such a good position um, and it felt like we were kind of cruising to then lose a few wickets and almost put ourselves under pressure. Um, but no, the lads are always confident, always get a good luck and everyone that goes out the back gets a good luck and do your best and that, I guess that's all you can ask for is just everyone to go out and do their best. Did it feel a bit special getting those runs off of Steve Finn? Um, I haven't had a hit for a while so it was nice just to hit them. I don't, I don't mind who's bowling as long as, they, as long as I hit them, it's always nice. And you, you then got out and I could see you were really annoyed with yourself when you got out. Yeah, well, I felt last ball of his over, I was on strike feeling really good. I felt three to win. It was kind of like a free hit for me. Um, and I felt like it was in, my, in the arc for me to hit it and I'd clothed it. So yeah, I was pretty frustrated, but also happy just to sit and watch the boys knock it off the last three on the balcony. Which they did. Let's talk about um, your bowling performance as well. I guess that's the that's best for you in T20 cricket? Uh, not quite. I got Ooh. four for 16 against Glamorgan quite a few years ago. But, Bruce knew. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, nice to get some wickets. Um, I think as a, a bowling group, we bowled fantastically well. Uh, we felt coming off that they were under par. Um, and I think everyone, now we feel a lot more at home that we've got a home advantage of knowing our strengths and knowing the lads have got really clear roles. Um, and yeah, I think as a whole bowling unit, we stuck to our plan really well and we got the re rewards. Good to get, get wickets as well on a track where the spinners bowled well throughout the match. Certainly their spinners bowled well and, and, and so did Delray and Danny Briggs. Yeah, I think... Um, I guess wickets in the power play are always key and it's nice to get two, um, especially if one was a, a bit of a drag down and he hit it, <laughs> hit it straight to the man. But no, yeah, my role in the power play is to take wickets and be aggressive and then I feel really comfortable coming in at the middle overs and at the death more because I've done it a lot more um, and just stick to my strengths of bowling hard into the batter or slow ball. So yeah, it was nice to get the rewards, um, but I think as a bowling team as a whole, we bowl really, really well. You say about feeling comfortable, George. Do you feel a really integral part of this Sussex T20 side now? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. But I think everyone feels very strongly that they're a big part of the team. And Wrighty said at the very start of the tournament that it requires a squad to win this, win this tournament, not just a team. And I think we've had people dip in and dip out and everyone that's come in properly stuck their hand up and put the good performances forward. So I think everyone, whether it's one to, I guess, 14, everyone feels a very integral part of the squad and know that if they get given their opportunity, they've got to take it. The maths are far too complicated for me, uh, George, but it might well be that you still need something at, at Chelmsford on Sunday against Essex. So how, how do you go about preparing and approaching that game now? I guess you prepare as well as you do for any game. Just it's, an, it's another game of T20 cricket. You prepare the best you can um, and try and deliver on the day. Uh, lads have had a look around and I, it's not our jobs to do work out the numbers and the figures it's just our job to go out on the pitch and produce the best we can um, T20 is a fickle game so we know that although momentum helps every game's a new one and you've got to start afresh and go again strong but when, when you win from a position like that does it make you feel as if you could, you could always win from anywhere really yeah definitely it gives you a lot of confidence going forward that if you're in a bit of a sticky situation then you're, you know that lads are going to put their hand up and hopefully get you over the line. We've had it a couple of times this year. I know actually against Middlesex at Lords, we had Feast properly played an unbelievable innings and almost took us out of the grave there as well. So there's a lot of confidence around the room looking at everyone and know that everyone is a match winner on their day.